Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our SU25T and we're looking at HUD modes and HUD symbology. So for this video we're going to look through the different modes, look at the base symbology. Bear in mind that when using, for instance, particular weapons there will be extra symbology based on those weapons. We're not going to cover that today. That Things like that will be covered in the specific videos for those weapons. We're just going to look at the uh, central base symbology. So if we go to adjust controls we can look at the different modes that we can use. One is navigation modes and there are three modes under navigation. The next one is longitudinal missile aiming mode or air to air mode. Next is air to ground mode and next is the uh, old school Russian gun sight. Okay so currently we've got the base navigation mode selected. So let's have a look. We start at the top left we've got our indicated airspeed here measured in kilometers an hour. If you want to know the difference between the different types of speed, indicated airspeed, calibrated speed, ground speed, true speed and whatnot, we have a video on that in the general educational section. Uh, under here is a triangle. This triangle is in the middle. If we are roughly, if our speed is neither increasing or decreasing, if it's, our speed is decreasing the uh, arrow will be here. If it's increasing the arrow will be here. Here is our heading tape and this triangle is showing our actual heading at the moment. So you can see our heading is about 288 at the moment and that wraps all the way between 0 and 360. Here is our altitude. It's currently measured by the radar because we're under 1500 meters. That We can tell that because we've got R here. If the R disappears we are then in barometric um, and, we can, and it's measured in meters. Next is our pointer. So this is where our, this cross is where our aircraft is pointing at the moment. We can see that we've got our aircraft bank here, you know, left wing, right wing and tail. And around here we've got our bank angle. So wings level, 30 degree right, 60 degree right and 90 degree right. Uh, we have our pitch ladder on the right here. So we've got zero degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. And it will be where this cross is relating to. So if I were to pull up at 10 degrees, for instance, then we will be travelling up at positive 10 degrees there. Here is our vertical velocity, so it's currently telling us that we are 9 meters per second, I believe it is, uh, positive vertical velocity. And here is our distance in the kilometers to our next selected point of interest. So that, I believe, is everything there. Let's go to the next navigation mode. So I press 1 again, we've gone to on route mode. Uh, small differences are telling us which type of navigation mode we're in here. Here it tells us that our current distance to our selected waypoint and our selected waypoint is our initial point which is zero. We are 17.2 kilometers away from it. Here is our director circle or as I like to call it our steering circle. This guides us to our selected waypoint. So what we would do is maneuver our aircraft so that our pointer across here were in the middle of that circle. Uh, everything else is the same except we've got some indicated speed and altitude. It's telling us that we want to achieve 580 kilometers an hour IAS and we want to achieve 2000 meters altitude. Okay, let's go to the next mode. Press 1 again. This is the RTN mode. This returns us to a base approach. Basically, very, very similar. We've got our direct circle here. It's telling us we're in return mode. That's the distance to the approach point, And it is approach point 7. Uh, to know which airbase that is and runway that is, you have to look on the chart in the manual. Otherwise, the same. Let's go to the last navigation mode. Landing, ILS mode. Everything's the same, except it's taking us to an ILS landing rather than an approach point. Otherwise, yes, I believe everything else is the same. I think the only thing I missed of was this line here, which is your artificial horizon line. Okay, so next let's switch to our next mode, which is going to be longitudinal aiming mode or air to air mode. So unpause, press the 6 key. So if all this is the same. The differences are it's telling us we're in longitudinal aiming mode now. It's telling us that we have these pylons selected, which are going to be our outermost two pylons left and right. And on that, uh, and that we have the 60M, so that is the R60M missile selected. Other than that, regards actual base symbology, nothing is any different. So we're going to go to air to ground mode now. Seven differences are we've got our weapon selected there, our S13s, which are I think rocket memory. We've got the pylons there that are selected at the moment. These uh, correlate with what we've got down here with our weapons ordnance panel. Uh, we've got our CCIP pipper there, or our aiming pipper there, that we use for aiming. We've got our aiming mode there, CCIP. We've got GND there, telling us we're in air-to-ground mode. 
We've got our ranging bar there, which spans currently from 0 to 25 kilometers. That is how far we are away from the current selected point, uh, CCIP point. That is our max, that is our min. What that's saying is that we can only release the weapon once this arrow is between our max and our min in terms of range. But we go through this a lot more properly in the weapons tutorial. So that's that. Next, I'm going to click on our last mode, which is going to be this chap here. It's the old school Russian gun or, or weapon sight. Um, it's not dynamic. It doesn't move. It's just an old school sight. A lot of Russian planes have, and I've absolutely oh, no idea of how to use it and probably never will do, but just so you know, it's there. Right, that's all I need to show you for the base symbology. I hope that helps and see you later.